When I am packing to travel, these are my basic necessities. I need a measuring tape. I take a progress keeper just in case I want to keep track of like maybe how long did it take me to make something on the plane. I take a pretty stitch marker in case I need one of those. An extra set of um, caps so that I don't lose any of my stitches. I like to use counters and this is a nice helpful counter when I'm counting up to 10, you just move it each time you go along so that it helps you count your rows. That way you don't have to get out your pen and paper. Or I use this, um, this ring. This is a ring that I can put on my finger and then I can change the, um, just the piece over here and continue my counting and I won't lose count or have to keep track of things. And then I take a pair of scissors. This is my favorite pair of scissors. But if I'm really track, uh, going small, I'll take this little tiny pair. Either way, I like the scissors to have a cap. This one, I cannot lose because it's attached to the pair of scissors. This one, the cap will come off and then I can put it back on. And these are all TSA approved. They can go on the plane. I like to have my knitting, my tapestry needles in a little case. I don't always take all of my tapestry needles, but I do like them to be in a case. This one I got from Amazon and I think it's like five or six dollars. It's not very expensive at all. And then I always take a thing of hand lotion because I think that makes, that feels good. You just have to make sure that this is in your, um, in your liquids when you're going through TSA and then um, some chapstick or as my kids say some chap lick. A crochet hook in case I make any mistakes and I try to make sure that this is the size that I need for the project that I'm working on but um, this E size is pretty good for almost everything and then if I have any cables I'll take my um, my little cabling tools. These are also helpful um, just to have in my bag. So this is my basic setup for in my bag. So let's talk about what the bag looks like. This is a pouch that I like to use to hold some stitch markers. This just is a little leather pouch and it has a little collection of markers inside that I like to, to keep and it just snaps and it's nice and flat and I can carry that anywhere. And then um, I made this a long time ago. It's just a little size zipper pouch. It's got the zipper on the top and it holds just about everything. And um, I even have my handmade on the inside. If you're looking to purchase one, one of my favorite ones is, um, this is actually made by Cricut. So if you're shopping, um, you would find this on Cricut's website, but this one unzips and there, there are other manufacturers who make these as well, but it unzips. And then if I'm in, you know, if I'm traveling in the car or maybe I've gotten to my destination and I just want to have my tools, um, available to me, this is a nice way to have everything on the inside. It will sit on my tabletop and, um, and I can, it has little pockets on the outside and then I can have everything available and then it zips up again. And it's nice and tall in case I have any um, needles or anything that need that extra length that's available. So let's go ahead and pack some things up. I'm gonna go ahead and pack into my little bag because this is the one that I use the most. Make sure that I have my scissors and my stitch counter just pop all those right in there. My needles, a little bit of lotion, chapstick, a crochet hook, my cable counters, stitch markers in this little pouch, extra covers for my knitting needles, my progress keeper and my um, stitch marker. And I just go ahead and pop those right in and then my tape measure. And that becomes my little notions bag that I carry um, everywhere I go. To do a little product review here, this is the knit kit. 
And this is a super helpful kit also that you can take. I wanna show you everything that it has because this has become one of my favorite things if I'm going just really fast, I need to grab one kit on the go. It has a counter right here on the top and it will count all my stitches and my rows and I can reset it as I go along. It has a little blade on the side so that if I need to just cut my yarn real quick, I can cut that yarn. This has a um, little crochet hook on the side. So, and it's got a small and a large tip so I can um, correct any mistakes that I make along the way. It has a tape measure right there on it and you just press this button and that will go right back up. It's got a place that I can hang it in my bag if I need to. And then on the other side, it has um, a little piece where I can measure what size needle I'm using. And this opens up and has a pair of these cool scissors. I always love these, my grandmother had these, that you can pull out and turn and those are nice covered blades. So you can use that, that can pop right right in there. I have my tapestry needles in here and I have some stitch markers in here. So you could put anything else that you need um, right in there so that you can travel. And everything is super simple and ready to go. So this is the knit kit and something that um, I have found helpful when I travel. I am also a collector of little containers. These, um, these usually are given out when you're at work and they do the little um, health fairs and you go down and you learn about um, your health insurance. I, you can use these, they're supposed to be for your pills, but um, you can put some stitch markers in there. You can use some of, you know, whatever kind that you need. Just pop those in there. You can have some circular stitch markers that you can save, any of your little notions that, you, that you'd like. These little pill containers are super helpful. I've also gotten um, one like this where it's all just one container. So I could have scissors and stitch markers and things in here and make that a to-go kit for my knitting. I also have found that little travel containers are really helpful. This is one that I have just put some different colored stitch markers in, so that's helpful. And then I have a friend, Michelle, who has saved the, these are batteries that she used, this is the battery case for batteries that she uses for her fire alarms at her house. And um, she made up a little kit that has all of the stitch markers you need to do socks and um, all the different ways that you can count your rows and mark for your um, inset and your gussets and everything. So that, that is a really helpful kit. And then this is a little container that you can purchase. This is from, um, this is from Boy. This is probably pretty old, but this is a little container that has a bunch of stitch markers in it in different sizes. And that's another good thing to have. So, Kind of keep your eyes peeled because this, these kinds of kits are nice things that you can also pop into your bag. If you're doing socks, you just pop that right in so that if you're on the plane or in the car, you know exactly what you need to grab to do your project. So those are other helpful tips. So let's talk knitting needles as you're traveling. If you're in the car or you're just traveling on your own, it's fine to take your long knitting needles, but um, I try to avoid these when I'm going on the plane and I, sh and I go instead for a round set of needles or the Addy Flexi Flips. Those are good to take. Um, if you're concerned, there's some international places that um, when you're traveling, you can't take your tips on those planes. So if you're using an interchangeable set, you can just um, take your tips and take them off of your knitting. So if my knitting's in here, I would take that off and then put a little cap on here. And then I can take the knitting onto the plane and have my tips separate. You can also leave the majority of your tips in your um, checked baggage if you're nervous about that. 
but this is something that, that you can do if you want to do it that way. I like to take small projects when I travel if I am at all concerned, and this is mostly international, but if I'm at all concerned that I'm gonna go through the TSA checkpoint and they might take my needles out of my knitting, I, I personally have never had that happen, but I've read stories. I will put um, all my stitches onto a holder and take that and then I can always switch that out once I get on the plane or to my destination, and then I can continue knitting once I'm there. Let's talk a little bit about knitting bags and how I like to travel with knitting bags. I like a bag that has a good base to it. This one has like a um, waterproof base on it, so when it sits down, it opens up really nicely and it's got pockets on the inside so I can put my things, my pattern, my pens. I also like to keep a post-it notepad with me. Um, and then it's got a, a little holder on this side so I can clip keys or something in there if I need to. It's got a lot of good space for a sweater. This is a good sweater traveling bag. And then I like this one because it's got the drawstring but then it also has little handles. So it can go into my backpack. I can, if I'm on a plane or a bus or a train, I can just kind of open that up and work right out of that bag. If I have a smaller project that I'm working on, um, I'll take a little bit smaller bag. This one again is one with a good base to it. And um, it has a drawstring as well that I can close up. And then on the inside, this one um, is a good fold down version. So this one, I can fold it down and work from within. And um, I've also put like, using my Cricut, I put some, some of my name in there, but it's got little pockets in it as well and a pin on the outside and then plenty of space for all of my things so I can put my project in here. This is a nice sock project and I can have my notion bag and I am ready to go. And I just close that right up. This one has this tie on it and then it has a single handle that I can just hold and I'm on the go and off and ready to knit. Recently, I had to travel really small. I took um, a Frontier airline flight, and that's the kind of flight where you can only have a really teeny tiny um, bag. So I wanted to figure out how could I get my knitting but keep it super small and compact. So I used um, a, one of these kinds of reusable bags. I was going to Portland and you have to buy bags there um, even to go shopping. So this particular bag will just pop right out and then I can put my knitting in here. It's also got some really nice soft handles to it. So when I was knitting, I just put this handle right over the, um, the latch that holds the tray table and I could put my yarn in the bottom of the bag so that I could knit from there. And I wanna show you what I did with the actual yarn because this is a two color um, piece and I didn't want the yarn to just kind of fly all over the place or get real tangled when I was traveling. So um, I have these little trash can bag liners. They're little tiny ones. You could probably also just use maybe the bags that you get at the, pro at the grocery store for produce, but um, they are just cheap, inexpensive. And I opened it up and put my yarn in and then I took the bag and just tied it. And that allowed me to keep my yarn kind of separated and it made a little hole for the yarn to come out. And I did that with both of the colors. So here we go, we'll just kind of roll it. And I didn't roll it over on itself, I just sort of pinched it and made it smaller and gave it a tie. And then I could hold my knitting on my lap in the plane and I had 
my yarn in my little tiny bag here, my very flexible bag. And this was hanging off the tray table. And I took the yarn and separated it so that it kind of came out each side of the bag and then put that up and it kept everything from getting tangled. And it was a really easy way to travel with a um, color work project. So I really enjoyed traveling that way. If my project it has a printed pattern, I like to, um, I just go ahead and fold it in half. And I like to take a type of pen that is a, um, either a push on the top or a twist so that it doesn't get all over the place. And I like it when it has a little clasp on it because then I can take it and just attach it to my pattern. And then that can either like tuck under my leg while I'm sitting there or back in my bag. It just gives a good way to carry your knitting project with your pen without getting any ink all over everything. All right, I think that is all of the tips that I have today for traveling. I hope you travel safely when you're on out and about and that this helps gives you some ideas for how to pack your knitting on your, for your next trip. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all my latest content.